Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to manually update WordPress. So most of the time you'll do an automatic WordPress update through the admin dashboard or it will happen on its own but sometimes you might find you need to do a manual update say it had failed or you've just got another reason for it. So I'm following the instructions from wordpress.org for this video so it is all the official instructions as of the 10th of november 2020 i will add links in the description so you can actually go to the website and check that this is still valid if you're watching this in the future so the first thing you're going to do before you do anything is make a backup now if you can't access wordpress or you've had a failed update hopefully you've got previous backups but if you've got a fully working wordpress website you must make sure you back up both your ftp space so all your web files and your database too and make sure you verify those backups too before you carry out this process just in case something gets deleted or overwritten that you actually find that you need next we need to go into plugins and deactivate all of our plugins. So we're just going to check this and we're going to deactivate all of those. Again, if you can't access the admin dashboard to deactivate your plugins, there'll be a link in the video description below that will take will show you how to manually do that. And um, there are other ways of deactivating plugins if you can't access this admin area. OK, so now we're ready to actually start the upgrade process. What we need to do is get the latest version of WordPress. So if you go to wordpress.org slash download and just get the latest version from here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pause while that downloads. OK, so now that's downloaded, we can go on to the next step. So here's the file I just downloaded, this zip file here. First thing we need to do is just extract it. So I'm going to just extract it here into this same directory. And that'll just take a second, doesn't normally take too long. OK, so that is done. So now we're ready to go and upload some files to our web server. So now you need to connect to your web server using FTP and I'm using a program called FileZilla and I'll just put it on the screen here. So I'm actually already connected here and um, if we just refresh this. So I've connected to this is for fast hosts um, and again for fast host customers I'll add a link of how to find your FTP details and how to connect using FTP. Uh, if you're an external customer, um, you just can connect to your web, you know, your FTP space using the details your provider provides you. And what we've got here is these are the files on my computer here, and these are the files con uh, currently on the web server. So this is my existing WordPress installation here. OK, so we're connected and what we now need to do is just delete a few bits. Now, the reason we delete some things rather than just overriding some of them is that sometimes there can be problems overwriting and it can cause an issue. Some people prefer to overwrite and most of the time it's absolutely fine to do so. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the WP admin and WP includes file. Before we delete them, we're just going to go into includes and we're going to check that there's no language folder if you've got a language folder in includes just pull it out um, and just do it over here just for safekeeping um, and you can upload it again afterwards but once we're happy with that we're going to go admin and includes and we're just going to go and delete them and now this might just take a little bit of time because there's a lot of files within these directories so i'm just going to go ahead and pause the video there for a second while that deletes OK, so those directories have now deleted and we're just left on this installation with WP content. You might have other directories um, if you've been using WordPress for a long time, but that doesn't really matter too much um, as long as you've just deleted what we've talked about there. Um, the WP content folder is the next one we're going to take a look at. So do not delete it. What we're going to do with WP content is actually go into it. And you'll see we've got quite a few bits and pieces here. So if we look at the folders and files I've got on my computer here, we've got this is the file, the folder I downloaded and extracted. So this is the new version of WordPress. So we're going to go into that 
and we're going to go into the WP content and we've got plugins and themes. Now I'm not going to copy them straight over. I'm actually going to go into those folders because I think generally speaking, it's just best practice. So if we first start with plugins and go into plugins here, and again, you've probably got more plugins in yours than I have in mine, but that doesn't really matter too much. All we're going to do is update the ones from in here. So we're going to drag that across and we're going to punk pop it just in that plugins folder. Now it's going to ask us to overwrite these folders files. That's OK. So what we're going to do is overwrite these. Um, so the action on here is uh, is uh, just overwrite. You might have slight, something slightly different if you're using a different FTP client, not FileZilla like I'm using. But basically, you just want to overwrite them. So we're going to OK that. Um, we probably always want to apply this to the current queue only, OK? So it doesn't pop up thousands of times. And again, this might take a little bit of time, um, depending on which, depending on sort of the version of WordPress you're using. That one was actually nice and quick. But if there's a lot of directories, it might take a lot of time. So don't worry too much about that. Right, we've done plugins. So up a directory in there, and up a directory in here, and onto themes. So if we go into themes on here, so on themes for both of them, and we're just going to drag this across. Now, before we do that, it is worth noting um, these theme names here are going to overwrite the ones on your server. So, for example, if you're using 2016 um, on your WordPress site and you'd made some changes to the code, so maybe you've uh, changed the look and feel or maybe you've changed some some of the coding on some of the pages for it. That's going to overwrite if you haven't um, if you haven't actually sort of if you haven't um, changed to a child theme. And that's child theme is a different subject, but just to, it's just worth noting. So again, backups, make sure you've got backups just in case. But all we're going to do now is just copy them over. And we're just going to overwrite when that uh, prompt comes up. And again, apply to the current queue only. And we'll just let that finish. Now, this one normally does take a little bit longer than plugins. Um, as you can see, we've got a few, uh, few themes to update there. Um, currently... 140 queued files so i don't think we really need to pause the video there but i will just speed this a little bit up okay all done so now we're all up to date on there again up a directory in both of them and just replace that index.php you probably don't need to but as it's the newest version it's best practice so we're just going to overwrite that one OK, so now we're doing OK. So if we on our website files go back to our main uh, main, the root of the website and we do the same here, we're just going to drag all these individual files across and copy. The only thing you potentially have to watch out for um, is HT access. Now, there's not normally a HT access folder, a HT access file in the downloaded WordPress files. But just in case, make sure you have got a backup of that HT access. Like I say, I personally don't think I, I personally don't delete the folders, the files in my root before copying across. I just overwrite them. And um, some people might do it slightly differently, but I think that's the best way to do it because it's a few things like robots.txt like that. Um, but we'd want to make sure we're keeping. So we're just going to copy everything, including index down and across if you do choose to delete the uh the folders the files on your web server be careful you don't delete wpconvig.php um hopefully you've got backups if you do but um yeah it, it will just uh, stop your database from connecting to your website so we're going to overwrite these apply to current queue and the reason i'm overwriting is just so i don't accidentally delete something that i need OK, that's those files updated. Now all we just need to do is move the WP includes and the WP admin folders across here. So I'm going to pause the video there because they will take a little while to upload. Uh, as you can see, there's 1600 files queued there. So I'll just go ahead and pause. And when that's uploaded, uh, I will get back to it. OK, moment of truth time that's uploaded. So our website should be back online and ready to go. So if we browse to it 
And hopefully it will come up. Yep, so it looks like that's successfully updated. Now, you do need to log into the admin area and I'm hoping it's going to show me because you might need to log, you might need to update your database. So if we go to the WP admin, uh, right, so there we go, database update required. So it's important you do this as well. So just because your sites come online, um, it's best to do this. And also you need to reactivate your plugins anyway. So we're just going to update the WordPress database there. It doesn't normally take too long. There you go, completed. So... There's that step done. And now we're just going to log in. And now we're logged in and it looks like the uh, the warning about updating is has gone. And last check, yep, so that's up to date and that's all sorted. So all we just got to do now is just reactivate our plugins. So, well, obviously you don't reactivate and you didn't have activated in the first place, but both of these are active. So I'm going to activate them again. And that is it. WordPress is up to date and we're happy. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.